hook off. Fish on. There's only about three or four casts in. Ripping that swim bait. Absolutely love that bite. Just pounded it. And it feels like a good black walleye. Oh yeah, look at that guy. <laughs> Go ahead and scoop him up here. And those are the bites you expect out of a swim bait. Big bites, just that big jarring boom on the end of the line. It is absolutely one of the most fun ways to catch a walleye anywhere. And this is the perfect time of year to do it, this early summer period. You still get fish on a lot of relatively shallow structures. They're feeding heavy and they are absolutely smoking. Big swim baits. Look at that thing. We'll talk a little bit about what we're using, how you fish these things, and everything you guys need to know about snapping swim baits around um, on this little uh, swim bait shoot. We're gonna let that guy go. All right, so today is all about swim baits for walleyes. Ton of different swim baits out there on the market. Uh, the one we're actually gonna be fishing today is a Kalens 3.8 Seismic Shad. It's kind of a bigger bodied swim bait. Um, it's real, real beefy bait, a uh, real big kind of thumper tail. I like it out here on a place like Mille Lacs because it does get a lot of big bites. Um, I'm running this in, I'm gonna be fishing probably like 14 to 18 ish feet of water and some rock out here. And I'm rigging that on a 3 8 for now. If the bite does get a little bit more subtle, I might put it on a quarter and just kind of have that thing flutter down a little bit more. Um, but there's a ton of different kinds of swim baits, you know, that I like. There's one that's just kind of like a, a very uh, basic mold pro tour mix on. It's called the swim minnow. Uh, you can buy these in bulk. They're called like the swimming minnow. Um, that's that seismic. Uh, that seismic shad is one of my absolute favorites for sure. This is the color golden splash. This is kind of like a gold. Um, it's got some like flaky in it. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but that's one of my favorite colors out here. Another one that guys fish a lot of is a Kitek Swing Impact 4 inch, a little bit smaller. When I'm going for big fish. That seismic shad's a great bait. Now, you know, you can fish this on a, a number of different heads, but the main rule with a swim bait is you have to have a head that is heavy enough or on a slack line. That, th that it's gonna fall fast enough to get the tail moving, right? So you can't fish like a really big swim bait on like an eighth ounce head, because when it's falling, it's not gonna go down fast enough to get the tail to play. That's a big mistake that you don't wanna make right there. You always gotta have that tail moving, because that's the only action on the bait on a free fall. So a um, couple quick little tips to fish in these. You know, I like to fish them pretty aggressive. I like to snap that bait along. Um, and you're gonna have just everything fall down after a while, kind of whether you have a wire keeper on there or not. So one thing I'll just do, I'll take a little bit of super glue. Uh, they probably make, uh, some kind of tackle company probably makes a super glue for this. That's like $19.99, maybe like 22, 23 bucks, or you can just get any kind of regular super glue, dab it on there, thread that plastic all the way up, let it dry, and when you're snapping it real hard, uh, it's not gonna keep coming down and you're gonna get a lot more life out of each of your baits. Um, and yeah, and that goes a long way. So you're constantly, you know, re-threading, putting a new one on, stuff like that. Both off, fish on. About three or four casts later, and it feels like another good fish for sure. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Those are definitely the bites that we are after. <laughs> oh my gosh, never ever gets old doing that out here. Those are absolutely the fish that we are after. And that swim bait is a perfect, perfect tool to get that done. Just smoked them right in the roof of the mouth. That is tank black walleye right there. We'll take that all day long. All right, so how do you fish a swim bait? Obviously that's extremely important too, right? We're gonna make sure our audio is on, audio is on, that's good. Um, so basically when you're fishing a swim bait, you know, I'm typically making a long cast. A swim bait's a great tool to cover water or fish for fish that you see. Um, you know, it's a good cover water bait because you can put on a heavy head, throw it a mile, work it fast, stuff like that. So basically I'm going all the way down to the bottom and I want to do that on pretty much a slack line so that bait's just not kind of doing this on the way down real slow. I don't want to lose a whole bunch of length off my cast if I'm fishing deeper water. Now once I'm on the bottom, I'm basically going to take my rod from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock real hard. I'm gonna pop it up like that and I'm just gonna hold my rod there. I'm not gonna drop my rod at all. And when you don't drop your rod at all, basically that bait's snapping up real quick and it's a slow pendulum down, that tail's moving on the way down. The bites on a swim bait pretty much always happen when it's going down. Sometimes fish will pick it up off the bottom. 
when you're going like that you're holding that rod high and that tail's just moving real slow on the way down the other thing i'll kind of mix up i'll pop it up and i'll just follow it down with my rod my line's staying tight but i'm following that jig back down with my rod so i'm popping it up following it back down with my rod just popping it up following it back down with my rod and that gives that bait a little bit faster fall so it's snapping up and it's just kind of falling a little bit quicker now a little more of a reaction bite instead of giving those fish a long time to watch that bait fall the other way I'll do this when the water is real cold typically, um, yeah, that's pretty much the main time, or in some real dirty water situations where I'm not trying to get that real hardcore aggression bite in clear water, most of the time these fish are much more, um, um, most of time in clear water these fish are much, uh, they like that speed, they like the speed of that real hard snap, the quick fall, but in dirty water sometimes I'll just give it that pull and just kind of ease it down to the bottom. That pull and just kind of ease it down to the bottom. Basically banking on the fact that those fish are gonna feel that bait, come over and grab it. Versus when you're fishing a lot of clear water, like out here on Malax, I like to do that snap because a lot of fish can see it um, if I'm around fish and I want, it, want them to get real aggressive basically. So those are kind of the two ways you fish a swim bait. Um, you know, like I said, the one or two bites, either they're gonna snap it on the way down, you're gonna feel that line just boom, you know, and obviously fish on, set the hook there. Otherwise you're gonna go to pull up again, there'll be another fish or the official grab it right off the bottom. So that's basically all I'm doing. You know, I'll vary it quite a bit. Sometimes I might be going like that and just, you know, easing it down. Other times I might just, you know, kind of drop my rod a little bit quicker, let that bait fall quick, but that's basically how I'm catching these fish. Fish on. That one actually picked it up right off the bottom. But I think he's got it pretty good. Not a big one there. You can see how he just pounded that thing. That one actually picked it up while it was right on the bottom, which happens quite a bit. Uh, beautiful Mille Lacs Lake walleye right there. All right, what kind of rod reel combo are we using to throw swim baits? I don't even know why I put this in the video anymore, but I get asked every single video if I don't film this piece on what kind of combo I'm using. So uh, rod wise, I'm using a St. Croix Mojo Bass 6.8 medium extra fast. I've been using this rod for a few, probably a lot of years now. Um, it's a good power jigging rod, a good rod for setting the hook on a fish that's way out there um, a good rod for ripping a real heavy bait um, like a big swim bait with a 3 8 ounce head or something like that so that's the rod I'm using the reel is a pissy fun carbon X 2000 10 ball bearings um, it's super smooth super light and it's fast that's the big thing about having a, a, a rip jig and reel like this is a lot of times if you're at the top of your stroke and you're waiting for that jig to fall and you feel that line get thumped you want to be able to spin down real quick set the hook and pick up any slack that was in the reel so you definitely don't want a, a, um, a very slow reel or, or a very small reel for doing this um, the other thing 10 pound braid I pretty much run 10 pound braid on all my jig applications um, you know fishing clear water like this I'm tying in about six feet of 12 pound fluorocarbon because um, it is clear water you don't have to do that in all bodies of water um, but I probably would have you know if I, still if I was fishing dark water I'd probably have a couple foot lead tied in um, of some floral definitely a technique where you want to use braid because you're feeling for um, you're feeling for a bite on that drop on and your bait might be way out there and braid helps you with sensitivity helps that you know when you're on the bottom and it helps the hook set at a super long distance so uh, that's the setup extremely productive way to fish Smoked up. Just smoked it on the fall. You gotta love that. That is what makes swim bait fishing so much fun is that when they hit it, a lot of times they just destroy it. There is another gorgeous, gorgeous fall. Got him. <laughs> Too much fun. It's one of my absolute favorite ways to fish. I know I say that about every single way I catch walleyes. Um, but this truly is an extremely exciting way to fish. If you haven't had the confidence in plastics before, most of the time it's that you're just not working it hard enough. You give a fish too long to stare at a plastic and a lot of times they're turned off. You give that fish a triggering way to bite, 
And look at that, just gone. The bite is super exciting, super fun. When they hit it, they absolutely just smoke it most of the time. The fish is so far down there. He's not hooked. He's not hooked bad, but just gotta get it out. There he is. Swim bait walleyes, absolute blast. We're gonna let that guy go move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, drop some comments below on what you guys want to see. We'll see you next time.